So today we're exploring the Peter Grant Mansion in Haleberry, Ontario. There's really no point in not naming it because it's basically been blowing up in the media. Canada's largest mansion it was built for Peter. I haven't been inside yet, so you're going to see what I see. It's a beautiful day. It's about 20 degrees out. Nobody around. No one seems to care that we're here. And we're exploring this multi-million dollar property. All right. So I'm going to head on in to the obvious point of entry. Let's see what's on the other side. Apparently it's quite a tourist attraction with young people and I think we're going to find quite a bit of vandalism inside but that's to be expected with something of this magnitude. Okay, that at entry wasn't very uh, successful. So we'll try a different way in. Peter Grant Mansion. The mansion was never completed. You can see that construction had begun. The foundation, the walls were built, and they were starting on the inner walls, the drywall each back fire suppression system glass has been smashed out wow Pretty much all the glass has been smashed out. That's sad. So yeah, you can see that <clears throat> pretty much drywall. Floors are unfinished. Lighting fixtures have not been put in yet. I'm going to crank up the ISO just a bit to make it brighter. There. A little bit of vandalism on the windows. The floor is kind of spongy. Obvious water damage.
This huge window has been destroyed. Imagine that's a couple thousand dollars just to replace that. Wow, this place just goes on forever. It's huge. Of course, when I'm shooting video, you're talking. Of course. Uh, we have a cranky person over here. Here, let's let's go discuss it with them. Okay. This is on like one little section. I'm shooting my video, sir. Wow. Yeah. I was peaceful. Now I'm gonna leave you and don't follow me. Bye. Not like you can't find me. Bye. You have it's a good thing you have the car keys. I have to be nice to him. He's so grumpy. God. He's a very grumpy person. Shh. Alright, so here's a view of what it would be like sitting on the deck. The house has its own little I don't know what you call it, it's own little dock. It's just an absolutely beautiful, oh, we have company. Hang on a second. Okay, apparently we have visitors coming. Let's go see who they are. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we have company, but they're just looking around. All right, on with the tour. I have no idea what this would be. There's another fellow here too, just so you're aware. All right, I'm going to take some pictures now, and we'll be back later. Bye. Here we are in the upstairs of the house. Uh, it looks to be kind of the, uh, the office area where the construction workers would have uh, set up their office. Got plans for the house, office equipment. Tile samples. So this is the type of tile that would go here on the wall. Be the office. There's really not a lot I can say about the place. I mean, I, it's a huge mansion. can't imagine what these rooms would even be. They don't seem to serve a purpose. 
like they were just built for the sake of being built. I hear a ghost. There's an operation right there. Holy shit. Did you find the pool? Yeah, it was just there until those fucking people interrupted me. <laughs> it's straight down, all the way down. I don't think they speak a word of English. Oh, I said hello, I said hello back. Okay. Okay, maybe you can show me where it is in a minute. Take this staircase. Yeah. All the way down. Okay. And it'll be right there. Is this the top floor? Yeah, these rooms look like they were built without any purpose. Just like, let's build a room for the sake of building a room. is looking pretty murky. We were talking to someone outside. He says that the place sees about 25 people a day. I would imagine it's a pretty big attraction for young people and curious people alike. Okay, I have to find where my tripod is. I seem to have this habit of misplacing shit. Here we are. Just gonna have a look at some of the uh, paperwork here. Analysis, concrete construction, David's Cottage, construction health and safety manual, floor plans. So it's like man, the construction was so complex that they basically moved into the mansion set up office here to work from. The amount of work that has taken place is just mind-blowing. If you take a look at the... HVAC, all the vents that were run, the amount of cement that would have to be poured, Let's go down to the pool. All right, here we are down in the basement. This is the pool area. The pool has not been finished, obviously. All this cement has been poured. Up the stairs. We have the outlets for the underwater lights. The heating and venting. All of this workmanship just gone to waste. The whole building has an industrial look to it. It's just raw concrete and metal and wood. It has absolutely no homey features. It doesn't have any, it doesn't feel like a home. It's, it's more of an institution because it's obviously not been finished. It's hard to uh, picture it as it could ever be a home, in my mind anyways. It's my opinion that the rooms are built just 
I don't know, it's, it feels like they were built just to be a room without a purpose. It's, it just goes on and on, crevices and nooks and crannies without any purpose. Maybe I'm just not seeing the bigger picture, but it just seems to be having been built for the sake of building a large mansion without any reason to it. Okay. We're going to go back upstairs. Bye. All right, so here we are outside. Take a look over here. It looks like either a fire pit or cooking area. I don't know. Sorry, I don't live in a mansion myself. This is marble. And we've got nice mosaic bricks all laid out. And all of this was done for a house never to be lived in. And then we go over here. And you can see, it looks like it would, let me just crank up the ISO for a minute. And it looks, at first I thought it might be uh, like a waterfall, but because of the stairs, I'm going to say it's, you know, a second outdoor pool with a waterfalls. No expense was spared for this house. Just beautiful. It is so quiet here. You can't hear anything. Just the wind. It is so peaceful here. Hi.